Hello, I'm Guy at StampingSimulation.com. Welcome to this segment of Engineering with Forming Simulation. Please send your comments and your questions to info at StampingSimulation.com. We're going to look at the tactile tools that are available for us to use right within AutoForm. I have a tool and die maker's background. It's very clear to me to recognize each one of these tools. I have a mail punch, I have a binder, or you might call it a draw ring, and we also have the female die on top. This gives us the shape of the outside of our part. Now in the tool room, I would build a die that has all three of these components in it and I would put that tool in the press and I would close the press exactly as I'm about to do now. The die would be forced down to the binder by the press. There would of course be springs that I can adjust the pressure on in between the binder and the lower part so that as the press continues to push down on the die the spring pressure increases with the sheet metal in between the die and the binder that pressure helps control the flow of the sheet metal as the part is formed. Now I can add the sheet metal I can go back put this in the press close the die form the part and when the die opens we can see the shape of the formed part. Now I have an option here that I do not have in the press. I can just watch the part forming. I can have the part in the binder, the part in the punch, or the part and the die. Any of these combinations so that I can evaluate exactly what is happening, how the sheet metal is responding to the forming process. For instance, let's make the die invisible zoom in here a bit and take a good close look at this as the die closes as the press closes forcing the die down on top of the sheet metal the sheet metal is trapped in between the binder and the die and that restricts the flow of the sheet metal so that this does not wrinkle up I can stop this and look very carefully and evaluate the results of the forming I could raise the pressure lower the pressure add draw beads, try different die clearances, I can try different materials, I can do all of these things exactly the way the toolmaker can in the press and on the toolroom floor except I can do it much more quickly, much more efficiently right here in the computer. Here's a picture of a part that could have come out of a tool that was built similar to this one.